Excite All Stars. Welcome to Excite Girls Rock, where we're going to be talking about everything from confidence, goal setting, self esteem, and embracing your true self. My name is Coach Ariane, and I'm so excited to be with you all. Today, we're going to be talking about confidence and how to build a confident mindset. Can someone tell me what is confidence? I'm waiting. Crickets? <laughs> Confidence means feeling sure of yourself and your abilities. Not in an arrogant way, but in a realistic, secure way. Confidence isn't about feeling superior to others. It's a quiet inner knowledge that you're capable. Can I say it again? That you are capable. You are capable of doing anything hard, scary, or impossible. Confidence gives you the power to be yourself and do what you want even when it's scary. I just want to share a few things with you about confident people and what that looks like. Confident people know they can rely on their skills and strengths to handle whatever comes up. They feel ready for everyday challenges like tests, performances, and competitions. Confident people think I can instead of I can't. And another key one that I like to say, confident people embrace the power of yet. I'm not there just yet, but I will be there. Why confidence matters. Confidence helps us Get ready for life experiences. When we're confident, we're more likely to move forward with people and opportunities and not back away from them. And if things don't work out at first, confidence helps us try again. It's all about building your confidence muscle. Every time you push past those feelings of fear, you're building those confidence muscles. Every time you push past that scary feeling, that hard feeling, you're building your confidence muscle. It's all about taking risks. Because when you take the risk, you'll say, it wasn't so bad after all. When you take the risk, you're like, if I did that before, I can do some other big things in the future. A lack of confidence can hold you back from reaching your full potential. So you may be asking, well, what's holding me back? What's holding me back from reaching my full potential? Hmm. It starts here. Your mind. Remember, confidence means feeling sure of yourself and believing in yourself. So what are you believing? What are you telling yourself? It all starts here. Everything in life starts with the mindset. Your mindset is how you think about yourself and the world around you. It is the foundation of your success and happiness. A positive mindset can help you become successful, confident, and live a big life. A negative mindset can prevent you from reaching your goals and make you miserable. Remember, you can always change your mindset. Remember, you can always toss that stinking thinking. Remember, you don't have to believe the lies that you're telling yourself. When I think negatively, I can transform those thoughts immediately. The Bible tells us, be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind. Our mind is powerful and we can change our thinking. Have you ever thought, I am not good enough or I will never be able to do this? These types of thoughts usually make us feel unmotivated, defeated, and stressed. It's 
perfectly normal to think this way sometimes. Everyone have to do, everyone deals with negative thinking. But we have the power to change the negative thinking and toss that stinking thinking to something positive. Research shows successful people have other types of thoughts more often. Can you think about the thoughts that they may have? Can you think about your favorite singer or actor, what type of thoughts they may have? If you were to get inside their minds, you would hear something like, I can accomplish anything. I love this challenge. My favorite Everything is figure outable. Have you ever been there before? You just can't figure it out? But I'm here to tell you, everything is figure outable. By thinking this way, we form positive beliefs about ourselves, which help us reach our dreams and make us unstoppable. You hear that? It makes us unstoppable. How many of you want to be a girl that is unstoppable? In order to be a girl that is unstoppable, you have to become a girl of action. You have to be a, become a girl that's willing to take risks. You have to become a girl that's not afraid of failure. You have to become a girl that is okay being uncomfortable. You have to be okay with that. I don't want you to get to a place where you're faking it until you're making it. You're having fake confidence. No, that's not going to take you far in having fake confidence. Don't fake it. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Let me talk a little bit more about positive self-talk about positive inner thoughts. Having positive inner thoughts boosts your self-confidence. It helps you succeed your goals. It helps you achieve your goals. And it gets you through challenging times. Negative self-talk is unkind, critical, and upsetting. It sounds like I'm not worth it or my opinion doesn't matter. Negative self-talk lowers your self-esteem, it stops you from achieving your goals, and it increases stress. It causes you to worry and stress out. But you can change all that. And you can change you can change it by changing your thoughts. We don't have to give in to those thoughts or those feelings, we can change it. And we can change it by changing the way we think and pushing past those feelings of fear. When your inner voice says, I can't, retrain it to say, I can. Or you could also say, I know I can learn or do this if I put my mind to it. Don't back down, just put your mind to it. Don't back down, just put your mind to it. It's possible. It's possible. You're possible. You're possible. I just made a little song. It just, it sounded like it flowed with that. So I just decided to, to sing it. But it's possible. And I just want to let you know that you are possible and capable of doing anything you put your mind to. Just do it. There's no such thing as failure as far as you being a failure. You're not a failure. You're not a failure. Keep going, keep pushing, and you're possible. There's no such thing as thinking that you are a failure. No, you are not. You are not a failure. 
one thing that comes to mind, my daughter says this all the time. She said, mommy, nothing beats failure but a try. Just try. Just take risks. So that's all that I have for you all today. I hope you enjoy this talk around confidence and how to build a confident mindset. And how to build a confident mindset is retraining your mind to think positive things. Instead of saying, I can't, I want you to believe that you can. Remember, don't just back, don't back down, just put your mind to it. Don't back down, just put your mind to it. You're possible. It's possible. Yes, you are. So that's it for me today. Um, Coach Jalen now will be taking over by doing our activity for this week. And our activity for this week will be journaling. And so she's going to decorate a journal with you all. And um, she will also share a few journal prompts to help you with building your confidence and building a confident mindset. Conf um, journaling really helps us to reflect on who we are. We also have moments where we can sh share things that we're grateful for. And also journal the negative things about ourselves, but we look to and we want to improve on. So I hope you all enjoy this talk. I hope you enjoy the activity for this week. And if you have any questions, please place them in the comments. If you have anything in particular that you would like for us to discuss, just please place them in the, in the comments. And I'm looking forward to talking with you all next week. And remember, excite girls rock. I'm possible. You're possible. Bye. Hey ladies, welcome back to Excite Girls Rock. This week we'll be teaching you guys the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. We will also be teaching you how to turn your negative self-talk into positive self-talk through journaling and using affirmations. So basically with the journaling, you could just find a comp composition notebook or even a spiral notebook or even like a stack of copy paper and staple it together. You can staple it along the sides so it'll look like an actual book or you can staple it at the top, you know, whatever you have at home. You can just find a way to use it. But so I made a composition notebook and I um just cut out pieces of construction paper and like taped it on there so it could be colorful and stuff. And then I just use also use construction paper as like a border or whatever. And so to decorate my journal, I just titled it Confidence Journal and I put hearts everywhere. And then at the bottom, I put love, brave, and awesome as just like some inspirational words and then on the inside um on the inside i did i wrote week one and week one we'll be talking about growth mindset versus fixed mindset and positive self-talk versus negative self-talk so that's why i wrote that on there and then we want to give you guys some questions with some journaling topics if you just like don't know what to write about and so some of them are how do your parents encourage you to be more confident? If they don't, how would you like them to? Two, what makes you feel like a strong person? Three, write one thing that you are most confident in but would like to improve. How could you improve? Four, write down a unique quality you have that makes you special. And five, write about a time when you did something you were afraid of, you were afraid to try. How did you feel afterwards? So... Yeah, you can just decorate your journal however you want to and just, like, use things that you have at home. And it doesn't have to be anything special as long as you like it. And for the topics, you can, like, do a new topic each day since we gave you five topics, like, for the next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And just try writing about a new topic each day. And, yeah, that should be everything. And make sure you're, like, you're not saying anything negative like anything negative only positive things only things that will make you feel better but i guess like no no negative things but if you could just talk about how you could improve like be like realistic and stuff and things that you actually could do to improve in these things 
Like, if you... Let's see, for one of the topics... Okay, I could um talk about one of the topics. So I'm going to talk about, write about a time when you did something you were afraid to try. How did you feel afterwards? Okay, so for me, I could talk about me making this video right now. I was kind of afraid in the beginning because, like, recording myself and then having people, you know, look at it and have to feel, like, inspired and empowered by it. But I did it even though I was afraid. And afterwards, I felt like, oh, wow, this wasn't that bad. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And it's something that I'm definitely capable of and something that I'm getting more comfortable with. So, yeah, that's just an example of one of the writing prompts. Another example could be write down a unique quality you have that makes you special. Okay, so for me, a unique quality that makes me special, I guess, would be... I think I'm really funny. Other people obviously think I'm really funny because they laugh at me or we'll laugh at my jokes. So, yeah, like easily make being able to easily make a person laugh is something that I would write down if I was answering this question. And for anybody else, it could be drawing, playing a sport, because not everybody can draw, not everybody can play a sport, or playing a instrument, not everybody can play an instrument. And nobody can do it as well as you could do it. So that could definitely be unique qualities for anybody if that um, applies to them. Or if, like, you're really good at schoolwork, really good in a subject, that could be a unique quality because nobody is as good as you are in that subject. Or nobody is as good as you are in at being yourself or just doing anything that you're able to do so yeah that's the end of this video for this week so i hope you guys have fun making your journals and see you guys next week bye